Hmm? Chris John Johnson. Y'all think he street? Y'all think he tough? He police. Hmm? Man, I tell you, when I started arresting folks down there, man, I didn't even ask for the information. They were just coming to me, telling me. What's going on, man? They were just coming to me, telling me. You know, uh, I tell you, the biggest snitch y'all had down there, Travis Anderson. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So look, man, before I jump into this video, I want to start it out the right way by telling all my supporters out there that I do appreciate y'all. And I hope that everything did go good today during your day, or it will go good today during your day, just depending on when I post this video or when you see this video. But anyway, it goes, I'm simply wishing y'all nothing but the best. And if you just became a supporter right now during this very video or recently, this is for you also. I just want to tell y'all that I hope that everything goes well in your life and I wish y'all nothing but the best in every aspect of your life. And I'm sending y'all nothing but peace, blessings, and prosperous energy y'all way. Now let's get straight into this video. Oh yeah, damn, I'm tripping. I got to tell y'all this too as well. For those who've been asking me about that car, you know the one I told y'all I was going to give away. The raffle is live right now. You can actually go down, buy your tickets, and uh, yeah, you know, take a chance at winning this 2024 Chevy Trax. And for those who don't know what's going on, I'll tell y'all real quick, I got a car that I don't really drive, it's still in the plastic, it's still just sitting and I do not drive it, so I decided to go ahead and just raffle it off. I was going to take it back to the dealership and sell it, but I said let me go ahead and just raffle it off, bless somebody gang. And I thought it would be something beneficial for me and beneficial for one of my supporters out there. And I'm pretty sure it'll go to the right person that's really, really in need, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, if you feel like it's a scam or you feel like any type of weird stuff or get any type of weird energy from this situation, just don't enter. Just don't be coming no weird stuff being weird, trying to trick somebody out of their position, you know what I'm saying, to possibly win this vehicle, you know, because if you know me by now, you can tell that, you know, I'm a stand-up dude and I really don't got time to play with nobody about nothing. You know, I could easily go get this money back for this car right now, but I'm choosing to go ahead and raffle it off, so it is what it is. But anyway, go, like I said before, click the link in the bio. I said the bio in the comment section or the description box so you can add me on my social medias and things like that and uh yeah the raffle will be live i will be streaming it live so everybody can see that this is a legit situation and once you buy your tickets and things like that you will get an email with proof of purchase you know but hey i'm not requiring y'all to buy anything this is all up to y'all if y'all want to go ahead and purchase y'all some tickets today do your thing man you know take a chance but anyway go let's get straight into the video at hand i just have to let y'all know about that so basically long story short it's this dude that's been going viral i done seen all these different clips of this situation right <laughs> and i finally finally found the full video now i done seen a clip where he was giving names but i really didn't know what the hell was going on come to find out he's an ex chief the police in Arkansas. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's what the title says, and that's what everybody been saying, that he was a, a ex-police officer. But anyway, it goes, squash all of that. Let's get into the video. I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. If you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video that's on my channel, just get up off of my channel. Go find it somewhere else if you can. If you can't, that's on you. I really don't give a damn about you. No way, so it is what it is. But to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, when I say that, y'all know I'm not talking to y'all. I'm only talking to those who don't want to hear me talking on my own damn channel. But to my supporters, all I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me. Tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. Add up my social medias as well and follow me on those social medias. And uh, yeah, let me know that you come from YouTube also. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, all that's going to be down there in the comment section. But let's get to the video and see what the hell going on with Cuz Snitching. Hmm? Chris Jones, Jones. Y'all think he's street? Y'all think he tough? Mm. He police. He police? <laughs> man, I tell you, when I started arresting folks down there, man, I didn't even ask for the information. They were just coming to me, telling me. What's going on, man? He said, they were just coming to me, telling me. You know, uh, I tell you, the biggest snitch y'all had down there, Travis Anderson. Man, I, I got all that dope off of Travis Anderson. What this dude say? What he say, cuz? I'm the look fish. I'm the look fish, man. Oh, no. Man, the big fish over there in the trailer. He talking about the Montgomery boys. I'm, I'm the look fish, chief. Help me out, chief. You, you, what you want me to do, chief? I'll work for you, chief. No. I never worked him. Because again. <laughs> he said I didn't work him. I ain't trust him. <laughs> Police. So all these guys down there, hey, if, if, if y'all want to be the police, man, if y'all want to clean up y'all streets, go apply. Go apply, baby. 
You know what I'm saying? Every law enforcement agency around Arkansas hiring, man. We short police all over the state of Arkansas. Go apply. Hold on, hold on. You can use me as a reference. Hold on. So what the hell happened? If you're from down there, or if you've run across the video, cuz let me know what the hell led to this right here. This is this is crazy. Now, and everything in this video is allegedly, I don't know nothing to be true. I'm just listening to what Cuz got to say, and I will voice my opinion here and now. But I do feel like <laughs> Cuz needs to be careful because he said names. But, you know, I can't respect somebody who's standing on all 10 saying what they feel and don't give a damn being unapologetic about whatever the hell they got Whatever the hell they got going on, you feel me? But damn, this right here crazy as hell. Cuz said, I ain't the big fish. He ready to tell everything. A lot of people don't even understand that they can be quiet and beat a lot of different charges and different things like that. People be volunteering information, tripping like hell, boy. Let's get back into the video, though. Yes, sir. You can use me as a reference. He said, use him as a reference. Cuz could do like it. The white girl, Jane Week. Laughing, he he and ha ha. He he and ha ha. But, but you, you had to run over to Maywood. To live with somebody else, cause Bradley Hill beating your ass. Mm. Huh? I ain't mess with him no more. And then your dumb ass go right back over there. That's how they do. I'm talking about, I was pissed off, man. When I saw her face, I'm like, damn. Bradley didn't bust her lip, swore the side of her face. Chief, I don't want press charges, Chief. If you don't want press charges, you ain't got to. Just know any man who, who sit here and put their hand on the woman, in my eyes, you can't fight a real man. So the only thing you can do is hide behind these Facebook pages like Leah Johnson, like Apple Smith. Hey, when I saw that username, Apple Smith, I said, yeah, it's got to be somebody who didn't graduate high school in any huge. I'll help you. I'll I, I help you do that, bro. It's no problem. Because... Like this right here. Help him do what? It's hot news right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brandon Hill say, B A N word. You never had a conversation with me in your life. Y'all wrote a funky ass ticket and I paid it. B A N. Damn, cuz this a real situation. What's the. <laughs> hold on, this is crazy. What the hell we done ran across, man? Let's get back into this right here. Brandon A. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> say. Say, I don't know what the hell going on. Don't be mad at me. I'm just <laughs> I'm just watching the video. Hell no, nah, this shit crazy. Who's right now? But next week, man, it's gonna be a whole other topic. My boy in the coming. But these folks like Whiskey, Jermaine Davis, Poop, Brandon Hill. What's his name? Christopher Jones. You know, you got all Jones, I'm sorry, Christopher Johnson. You know, you got all them Poop Pop. Poop Pop. You know, Ardell Smith. Damn. High speed. You got all them. Who snitching? And then Poop Pop and R.D. Smith try to come back at me and say they were snitching. Bro, I released the video. Don't play with me, man. Don't play with me, man. Poop Pop and R.D. Smith burnt up the damn police car. You got to show the video, Poop Pop, nah. Hey, Chief. It wasn't me. It was R.D. But I was with him. R.D. Hey, Chief. It wasn't me. It was Poop Pop. But I was with him. Poop Pop? Who the hell Poop Pop? Hey, I don't give a damn. If you say it on fire, you say it on fire. But both of y'all was there. Both of them turned on each other. It ain't my case, it's state police case. Now both of them turn on each other. And as I say, same thing I say about Corey Woods and anybody else. <laughs> I'm, from street, I'm, I'm from hell. It don't matter if the police with you, it don't matter if the whole world with you. Once you go to that police department and you put something on paper, you ain't street. Because the real gonna handle their ass on the street. They gonna step to you like a man. And that's the same thing I tried to do with Tiger the other day. Tiger up there re recording me, but hit that file of paperwork on me. Oh, Tiger. Hey, Mr. Hold on, Brandon, hold on. My boy Brandan back in the comments. He said, I never told on a nigga in my life. He said, I'm street as it get. Straight up, my boy. Hey, look, these are some heavy, heavy allegations. I mean, we laughing right now, but these type of situations leads to people losing their lives. And I hope that y'all can work this out, man, because... Well, shit, some things you can say about a person you can't take back. Now, it's going to be all over the world. It's already all over the world. You know what I'm saying? But damn, man. My boy Brandon. Hey, look. My boy, hey, he's standing on business in the comment section. That's what's up, boy. Hey, stand up for what you believe in, man. But my boy right here, who the ex-chief ex of police, he's standing on business for real. He outside his location. I guess he at home. I don't know where the hell he at, but he out there standing strong on whatever the hell he got to say. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, shit, if you got the videos, release them. Shit, it is what it is. They shouldn't have been doing no dirt and then trying to you know 
um, hide it after the fact. This if this true now. I'm not saying y'all out there because I'm I'm I've been in age. I I ain't going there with it. I'm just saying if that's the case, release it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. This to me and took this from me and slapped me and this and that. But but then you get on Facebook, you act like you're the hardest thing. I step to you and I you didn't you never step to me, Tiger. You never step to me, Tiger. Tiger. The police officer Hughes was trying to catch you while you running back in the building, bro. Huh? Look at his eyes. Officers, look at his eyes. He crazy. Chief crazy, man. Look at his eyes, man. He sweating. He gonna kill me. He gonna do something. Running back in the building. Hmm? Your grandma had enough heart to sit there. I mean, daddy old, old ass, man. I, 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 I. Y'all can say, hey, don't don't talk that way about Miss Dottie. Don't talk that way about Miss Robinson. But that's she one of the biggest crooks on that board too, man. Cause I, I can't I don't understand why people would want to get rid of the police department. The only protection that you have in Hughes, you want to sit there and get rid of. For for you to do that and for you to say that, for you to put that out to the community, in my mind, it's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. You gotta be one of the biggest crooks running around Hughes and you don't want my bitch. You don't want my other officers. Huh? Why else you don't want the police there? You see the county ain't coming down there. Boy. So yeah, Corey Williams, the biggest snitch around Hughes. The biggest snitch around Hughes. What? Yes. Corey? Yes. If they Brandon is. Hill, the biggest snitch around Hughes. Christopher Johnson, the biggest snitch around Hughes. My boy, hold huh? on, my boy John Whit back in the comment. Damn, I missed what my boy said. Let me go back. Damn. He said, Jane Wick. That man ain't talking about SHRT. We know why he got my name in his mouth. Oh, man. So, yeah, my boy up standing on business. My boy Brandon said they know what the hell going on down there. I need to know the backstory. What the hell really going on, man? Let's get back into it, though. Huh? That damn Contravis? Contravis. Contravis. He said, woo. Contravis will be coming oh, up. I was going to that nigga with the dumb look on his face. But, hey, it's a dumb nigga. Hey, that's why he, he was blessed with the dumb look. Hmm? Travis Anderson ready to get to give up the Montgomery boys. Hmm? Tra Travis Anderson ready to snitch on Lil Hughes. And I ain't gonna lie. Lil Hughes was so straight up with me while I was down there. Everybody know what you do. But Lil Hughes was so straight up with me. And he'll tell you to this day. I stepped to Lil Hughes. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday, I stepped to Lil Hughes and I told him, I said, hey, bro, I'm out the door. But I appreciate you for never giving me no issues while you was in Hughes, while I was in Hughes. I appreciate that. I said, you for that. Yeah. I said, I used to come yeah. up to him and them little niggas used to start talking all that bullshit about police. Lil Hughes, he, he, he don't want the heat. Hey, man, y'all chill out, man. Leave Chief alone, man. You chill out, leave Chief alone. He going to move on about his business. Y'all got to know how to play the game, man. You move stupid. You move dumb. Mm. You look move so goddamn stupid. Y'all need to be looking up to these folks like Lil Hughes. These folks like Mo. These stay out the limelight. They stay out of it. What the fuck they want confrontation with the police department for? Look, man, y'all know, man. If, hey, look, I'm trying to find a full video. I done found the longer version. But I seen this at 25 minutes somewhere. If we can find this video, let me know. Send it to me. Blow me up. If I can't see your message, I get a lot of messages consistently. I might not get a lot of interaction on there because I barely be on the internet like that. But I get tons of messages. So if I'm having a hard time seeing your message, send it two or three different times so I can get this. I need to see this right here. I want to know what the hell going on. And uh, yeah, man, y'all be careful down there, man. There's a lot of snitching. Uh, allegedly, a lot of snitching going on. I'm not saying that these guys are snitching, but just having these allegations around, some real deal stuff happening, you know, y'all need to be careful down there. You feel me? But uh, yeah, overall, I wonder what the hell made him go like this, man. You know, on everybody. This shit here crazy as hell, ain't it? <laughs> but hey, that's all I got to say about it, bro. I just feel like that, you know, shit, when it's a situation like this, the only thing that you can do is just put up or shut up, you know, show the proof or. You know the other people that he, that's 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 trying to say that he's lying make shit call his bluff. You know, that's the only way you really can get to the bottom of things like this. Because with him being a police officer, a lot of people are gonna believe what he says instantly. Y'all already know how I am. I don't believe what the internet says off rip.
You know what I'm saying? I like to, you know, have my own thought process and decipher certain things for my damn self. But, you know, I feel like that for him to actually get on live and say what he's saying, he got a lot of conviction with what he's saying. So, you know, it ain't too hard to believe, but everything is alleged. And, uh, you know, we'll find out more later if we can. If not, shit, it is what it is. It's going to be another story that we just put in the archive. But I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. If you're from down there in Arkansas or Hughes, whatever the case may be, let me know. Hit me up and give me the backstory. If you can find the video, that's 10 times better. But other than that, that's all I got to say. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'll holler at y'all later on another video. <laughs>